सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी थ्री ऑफ गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मेटोलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग विच से इज गिविन द स्ट्रेस टेंसर द मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस वैल्यू इन मेगा पासकल इज सो वी हैव बीन गिविन स्ट्रेस टेंसर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए मैट्रिक्स यू कैन सी हेयर एंड फ्रॉम दैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस सो लेट्स से लाइक वी आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग दिस स्ट्रेस टेंसर विथ ए मैट्रिक्स ए सो वी कैन राइट इट लाइक ए इक्वल्स टू वन थर्टी थर्टी जीरो थर्टी फिफ्टी जीरो 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 या सो दिस इज आवर स्ट्रेस टेंसर सो एज वी नो दैट स्ट्रेस टेंसर इज हैविंग बोथ द कंपोनेंट दैट इज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेसेस एज वेल एज शेयर स्ट्रेसेस so the diagonal diagonal element which is uh, uh, which i am indicating here is 130 50 and 0 these three are basically normal stresses and remaining elements uh, you can see here are basically shear stresses right so we have been given normal stresses and shear stresses so to calculate the maximum shear stress first we have to find principal stresses then only we will be able to calculate the maximum shear stress right so for a given uh, stress tensor to calculate uh, principal stress we have to find the eigen value of this matrix right so let's say lambda is the eigen value for this matrix then uh, it will satisfy the condition a minus lambda i determinant equals to zero, right? And with this condition, we will try to find the value of lambda, and that lambda value will be the principal stress for this stress tensor. And I here is nothing but the unit matrix, uh, which will be uh, three cross three, right? So we will solve this. A minus lambda I will uh, give you one thirty minus lambda thirty zero thirty. Fifty minus lambda zero 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 and minus lambda equals to zero. So if we'll solve this, uh, we can write it like minus lambda times one thirty minus lambda into fifty minus lambda minus thirty into thirty equals to zero. so if you further simplify it uh, we can write it like so for this equation to become zero uh, we can have either lambda equals to zero this part equals to zero or this entire part equals to zero so the first value of lambda will be equals to zero which we can indicate it as indicate it as lambda 1 and lambda 1 equals to zero in another case if we make this this term equals to 0 which means this was case 1 where lambda we get equals to 0 and in case 2 where we are equating 130 minus lambda times 50 minus lambda minus 900 equals to 0 so let us solve this we will get uh, 6500 Minus one eighty lambda plus lambda square minus nine hundred equals to zero. So this will give us lambda square minus one eighty lambda plus fifty six hundred equals to zero. So we can also write it like lambda square minus One forty lambda minus forty lambda plus fifty six hundred equals to zero. So this will give us lambda minus one forty into lambda minus forty equals to zero. So from here we can write lambda equals to One forty or forty, so we can give the name. Uh, it as a lambda two equals to one forty, and lambda three equals to forty. So we got, so we got all the three value of lambda. 
and these three values of lambda are nothing but uh, our principal stresses right so uh, let us uh, denote the principal stress uh, by sigma 1 sigma 2 and sigma 3 so sigma 1 here is our uh, 140 sigma 2 is our 40 and sigma 3 which is third principal stress is nothing but equals to 0 right so this is our principal stress right and uh, please remember that uh, whenever you are writing the uh, principal stresses in uh, uh, in case of uh, three dimensional state of stress please uh, write it uh, sigma 1 as the largest and sigma 3 as the smallest like in decreasing order right so sigma 1 is uh, algebraically the largest value and the sigma 3 is algebraically the smallest value now we got the principal stress value for this stress tensor so for uh, calculating the maximum shear stress so what is our maximum shear stress maximum shear stress is nothing but tau max if you uh, write it like tau max and tau max equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 upon 2 so by just putting the value of sigma 1 and sigma 3 which we have got just now we can easily get the value of tau max so 140 minus 0 upon 2 will give you 70 and 70 is nothing but our maximum shear stress right so this is the correct answer 70 megapascal thank you